everyone, Janie here, and today I have a guest designer with me. Um, her name is Myra, and she makes jewelry, and today she's going to show you a beautiful bracelet she's making. Um, it's patriotic, and hold on while I grab this. It is using this image, which is called Lil, Little Wisp One, and that is a Sherry Baldy, my bestie, and there we go. There she is. So that's what we're going to be using. And we'll be back in a minute to get started. Okay, everyone, before we get started, I just wanted to take a minute to show you some of the beautiful work that Myra does. Our lighting in here is bad, the focusing is bad, but I just wanted you to get an idea. She is amazing, and I just can't wait to show you what this other bracelet is going to look like when she's done. So right now, I'm going to turn it over to Myra, and she'll tell you what she's going to be doing. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a patriotic bracelet with one of Sherry Baldi's besties on it. And as you see, I've already got everything laid out on my board, and we're going to be using a lobster clip um, chain today. And um, we're going to be laying it out. We decided to change it up a little bit. We put a flag on one side and a little patriotic heart on the other side. Um, the little besties here in our little cameo and I like to put a coat of um, shiny finish nail polish over my beads with the rhinestones on it. It just helps secure them a little bit better and make sure that they stay in because sometimes they don't get set all the way. So and nothing's more irritating than losing one of your rhinestones. So now we've got everything all lined out so I'm going to go ahead and just string these on to our chain here. So we've got them all laid out so we're going to start in the order that we've got them laid out and we're just going to start stringing them onto our chain just exactly the way we have them laid out and when we're finished they'll be exactly the same on both sides so. and all of you can be patient with me while I'm moving the camera around because I'm really not a cameraman <laughs> and then after we get this on we will set our, our um, bestie in her little bubble and we'll pin on our um, little charms. So it doesn't take long if they slide on. The hardest part is getting your pattern down if you want to keep everything um, exactly the same on both sides or if you want to kind of mix it up a bit and put different things all over the place which sometimes I do but most of the time I try to keep everything symmetrical on both sides. And our little charm is having just a wee bit of problems here. Sometimes we need to make some adjustments to get them on. There we go. So our little besties on. And you want to make sure when you're doing this that all your hearts and all, everything are anything that's directional is, is all facing the right direction. All your hearts are going the same direction. And everything is facing the same way. This takes talent, something that I don't have, at least not for not for jewelry. Okay, and then when we get to the end with this one, we are going to put a snap clip on it so none of your beads go sliding off the other end. Or if you catch it on your sweater and it comes unhooked, your beads don't get scattered all over the store you're shopping in. <laughs> so now we're going to pop our snap clip open and we're going to put that right here on the end. And voila, your beads are on. And awesome. everything is set. Now we just need to hook our little flag and our little heart on here. So we're going to bring it down. And if my fat fingers can get a hold of it, <laughs> we're going to hook that on there. Go. This is just beautiful. Thank you. And now we've got that all set. And now all we have to do is get everything set. We want to make sure everything's right. We want to clean our little bubble. And we want to make sure that when we peel the back off to set it, we don't have any fingerprints or anything on the back. And we will set, and you set that on there. 
Awesome. And that today will represent our page, excuse me, our little patriotic bubble. Goes back on there. And there we have our bracelet. All of our charms going the same direction. Everything is set. Oh, that is just sweet. And the dusty is all red, white, and blue. Yep. My and little heart on her cheek. And look at that, the little heart charm. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying so desperately to get this where the lighting is good because I want you to see all the sparkles. And with this bracelet, when I do sell it, all the, all the proceeds from this bracelet will be donated to the Wounded Warriors Project. Oh, that's awesome. What a great thing to do. Thank you. I hope you all paid attention to that. And I'm going to get some better pictures of this to post afterwards. And I'd like to say thank you to Myra for joining me today and showing us this wonderful project of hers. So thank you, Myra. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, everybody. Well, I'll be back in a minute with some pictures of this. Mm -hmm.